I'm John Dinesfeld. I'm a research biologist with Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada at the Nepan Research Farm in Nepan, Nova Scotia. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about our Beef Cattle Research Council uh, grazing intensity project we have on the go here at Nepan. We're into year five of this uh, for collecting data right now. With this project we're looking at how the level of grazing intensity impacts the a variety of parameters on the pasture, on the animals, and on the soil. We're in the fifth year of this project, um, so we're starting to see some of our results come through. So essentially we have three different grazing treatments. We have animals that are moved every eight days, we have animals that are moved every four days, we have animals that are moved three times a day. And so with the eight day and the four day paddocks, we have a structured paddock setup that we're just moving the cattle through on a rotation basis. And with the every three day move, we vary the paddock size based on the forage availability and we use automatic bat latches to help the cattle through two of the moves through, through the day so we don't have to be there to move them to achieve our, our higher stocking density. With this project, we're measuring the animal performance, including the animal gain per acre and grazing days per acre. We're also measuring uh, forage yield, um, changes in forage species composition, and changes in soil organic carbon. Uh, and, and actually we change it in rooting depth as well. Another element that we have with this project is we're also trying to increase the amount of legume in the pastures. So we have either broadcast seeded or, or no-till seeded first with trefoil into the paddocks each year with the goal of trying to get to about 25% legume in the, in the paddocks. Cattle moved every four days, we're seeing a, a significantly higher level of trefoil showing up in those paddocks. However, when we look at our other legumes that are naturally present there, in particular red clover and white clover, the cattle that are moved three times a day, we're seeing a, a higher level of legumes in, in those paddocks. If people wanted to know more, after the end of this year, we will have a report that will be filed with the Beef Cattle Research Council.